Hi everyone, it's Andrea. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do part three of my vinyl record collection. So this is the LPs. Now I know there's going to be people in the vinyl community who are going to probably pull this out, but look at some of the state of some of these records and think, oh my god, and I'll probably get loads of really horrible comments. But you gotta remember that a lot of these records were bought new in the 80s when I was like 11, 12, 13. I didn't care how to look at the records then, they were what I listened to because that's what we listened to. It was before CDs took over. I'd never particularly liked cassettes, though I did have a few, I never had many. Um, so that's why some of them are really, really battered. Uh, some of the ones that I really love I will be replacing with better copies at some point. So there's only about 100 or so LPs, it's not a huge amount, but we'll get started. So the first one is... Uh, ABBA Greatest Hits Volume 2. One of the newer ones in my collection is Adele 19. AHA Hunting High and Low. Bananarama Greatest Hits Collection. This is one I will, I'm going to look to replace fairly soon. Um, it does skip. As you can see there's a chew on the corner. That was where a dog got hold of it. So the, and there is a tooth, tooth mark in the, the lead in. So I will be replacing that one definitely. Then we've got Bangles, A Different Light. Got Beach Boys Greatest Hits. Some of these were given to us by Paul's mum, some by my mum. The Beatles 20 Greatest Hits. Now I know people, apparently people don't like that in the vinyl community, Beatles fans, for whatever reason. But this is the Beatles album my mum had and I listened to when I was growing up loads and loads. And people say they don't like the inside cover. I love the inside cover, but that's just me. Then I have reissues of The Beatles Please Please Me and the Beatles' A Hard Day's Night. I'm just going to move those out the way. Then I have a copy of Sam Cooke, The Man and His Music. This was actually my brother's, but my brother lives in New Zealand and he's never going to buy a record player. Doris Day, 20 Golden Greats. Again, that was one of my mum's LPs. Now, the next one is one of my favourite LPs and I actually won this in a radio competition off Radio Luxembourg and that's Samantha Fox's Touch Me. And I don't know if you can see it, but just here... Can you see it? It's actually signed by Samantha Fox. There we go. So I've got Connie Francis, 20 all-time greats. Judy Garland, live at Carnegie Hall. I do love Judy Garland. There are a few Judy Garland records, not as many as people expect there to be because I sort of buy, go through phases as with all my hobbies. Um, and then get loads of stuff for that personal hobby and then move on to something else. So I'll either be buying loads of vinyl records for Judy because I'm into Judy or I'll be buying other Judy stuff and every now and again I'll buy a record or I'll be just buying records so it won't necessarily be a Judy record, I'll buy it, be something else. I do have the hits of Judy Garland. Judy Garland at home at the Palace opening night. Judy in London, which is a double album but it's not a gatefold. I've got Greatest Performances Judy Garland. I love the picture on this son. I have Alone by Judy Garland. Now that's all the Garland LPs in this section. There are some in my soundtrack section. So you'll find in this that there are some things that soundtracks that are actually in the LP collection for some reason and I'm slowly moving them into the soundtrack as I rediscover them. I've got again these are the ones were my mum's Brenda Lee, Little Miss Dynamite. Brenda Lee, Funny How Time Slips Away, as you can see the original price was 95 pence. <laughs> so I'm currently in the process of cleaning all my records, I've got up as far as the um, S. This one belonged to my godfather and it's Peggy Lee, The Song Is You. And when he died, um, his wife Reen gave a lot of his albums to my mum and dad and I've got a few, couple of them, um, but not all of them. Some of them are really bizarre, like um, organ music and stuff like that. So, <laughs> uh, Julian Lennon, Valot. Now on to one of my favourite bands, and they're one of my favourite bands to this day, and that's Huey Lewis the News. And um, get well soon, Huey. He's been just diagnosed with Meniere's syndrome, so he can't actually sing. They've had to cancel a load of tours, which is really gutting for the fans. I've seen Huey Lewis twice. Um, once a couple of years ago, once back in two, you know, so in the last 20 years I've seen him twice, both times when he came to the UK. Um, so get well soon Huey, we love you and hopefully he'll be able to sing again at some point in the future, he is undergoing treatment. 
So very, very sorry to hear that yesterday or this morning. Um, so we've got the first one, which is just called Huey Lewis and the News. And then we've got Picture This, Sports, and Four. Now, as you can see, these have been taped, mucked up. I think these will be ones that I will be replacing with better copies at some point as it will be the singles that I've got, and you saw those in a previous video. Um, a lot of this music is 80s, you might notice that. London Boys, The Twelve Commandments of Dance. I just loved this album when it came out. Lulu, Shout. Next pile. Now we're on to the, one of my other collections, which is Marilyn Monroe, so we're on to the Marilyn Monroe album. So we've got Marilyn. Now this is a soundtrack, but it's just Marilyn. It's all Marilyn singing, so that's why it's in the Marilyn, in the M under the main vinyl rather than in the soundtracks, as is the next one, which is a reissue of this in a different uh, cover, and that's this one. So again, it's just called Marilyn. Then I've got the very best of Marilyn Monroe, uh, the Marilyn Monroe Collection 20 Golden Greats. I've got a picture disc, which is just uh, The Legend Lives On, and it's, so it's that on one side and that on the other. There is another picture disc, but it's in the soundtrack section. Yes, there's Baron in the soundtracks as well for some reason, and you'll find out why. So, Marilyn Monroe Portrait. Then we've got Nirvana, MTV Unplugged in New York. This is actually Paul's album. I bought this for him because he gave up smoking and it's been two and a half weeks since he quit so I gave, bought him that as a, a present as, as a well done because the first week is the hardest and he's done it and I'm very proud of him for doing it. Um, another one of my favourite bands is OMD and in fact the first concert I went to was OMD and it was for the Sugar Tax tour. Now I don't have Sugar Tax on vinyl, I have it on CD and I've been looking on eBay for Sugar Tax on vinyl and it's like £20. Wow. Um, <clears throat> so, But the albums I do have on vinyl are Junk Culture. Um, this one's just called OMD, or Kessel's Maneuvers in the Dark. That's a reissue of a reissue. <laughs> one of my favourites, Dazzle Ships. I like that one. And then Organisation. So they're the ones I've got. The rest of the albums that I do have on them are on, on CD. On to Pet Shop Boys again. I love Pet Shop Boys. Now, these aren't in any order, so I'm just going to quickly move them around to put them into the correct order. So we've got Please and Disco. And then we've got Actually, which is one of my favourite albums, Behaviour and introspective and they're the ones I've got on vinyl. Now <clears throat> there is a next one is another copy of introspective and this is a Japanese edition uh, that's got still got its obi strip so I don't play that one I just play my original copy. New one of the newest records again Elvis Presley the search I bought that the other day in diverse music in Newport as you if you've watched the Newport vlog you would have seen that. Paul's mum gave us a copy of Elvis's back as you see it's tattered and thing. Um, my mum's got a copy of this, so we'll have two copies at some point. One of my mum's was Elvis's Christmas album. I borrowed that at Christmas, she said I could keep it. She has got another one. Then I have Prince Controversy, or Controversy. I have Prince 1999. Like I said, these aren't in any order. Another one of my favourite bands is an Irish band. No, it's not U2, it's the Saw Doctors. And I only have one of their vinyls, the rest are on CD. And that's all the way from Tume. And Saw Doctors vinyl is very expensive for some reason. I'm not actually sure why. But they are fantastic. Then we have Shakespeare's sister, Home Only Yours. Another one of my godfather, uh, Ginger's um, LPs. I've got Frank Sinatra's Greatest Hits, The Early Years. And then I've got another Frank Sinatra, which I purchased from eBay, which is Come Dance With Me. And I bought that because it's got the song Something's Got To Give On It. And I really wanted that song. And then I've got Sunita. Sunita. So it's a lot of different types of styles going on here. So I've just got to get the next pile. Uh, here we go. Next, I've got Dusty Springfield's Greatest Hits. We're into the ones I haven't cleaned now. <laughs> Um, various artists, Heartbreakers and Tearjerkers collection. So things like Raindrops Keep Falling On My Head, Then You Kiss Me, The Letter, Venus in Blue Dreams, A Young Girl, 
I just cannot believe in. He's a rebel. He's so fine. Tell her I love her and so on. That's a great album again. An album I grew up with, obviously, uh, from the 1970s Pickwick Star Tracks. One of the first albums I bought was Hits 3, which is a compilation album, obviously. Uh, on to some that Paul's mum gave us now, and we've got... And these are backwards, I'm just going to turn them the right way around. I don't know why they're backwards, but they are. There we are. Uh, Motown Chart Busters Volume 3. We don't have one or two for some reason, and I love these covers. We have Volume 4, Volume 5, Volume 6, and Volume 7. This one has the, the um, fruit machine thing, so you've got this little wheel and you can turn it. It's very difficult though and the pictures change. I don't know if you can, let me just have a look. Put that there. If I go around this way. You see in those little windows they'll move and you put that there and it'll tell you underneath that it is If You Really Love Me by Stevie Wonder. Wind Wonder. It's sort of like a jukebox fruit machine thing. Then I've got um, a various artists Rock and Roll this is a new one, Best of the 50s. Another one I grew up with that was my mum's and I really love and it's battered to hell. It's a soundtrack but it's not. It says it's 40 smash, it's based on the film and that's that'll be the day. And again I grew up listening to that. Then we've got Suzanne Vega, Susan Vega. Again one of the first records I bought as I mentioned before was Marlena on the Wall and that's on here and I love um, Small Blue Thing and Undertow and The Queen and The Soldier so I really wanted the album. Wet 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 popped in Sold Out and the last one before we hit the soundtracks and that's Wet 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 The Memphis Sessions. So I'll put them to one side because they're the ones I haven't cleaned yet so I'll put them out of the way. Um, soundtracks. So the first one I've got is called Three Guys Naked from the Waist Down, a new musical, original cast recording. Now I think I've listened to this like once and the reason I bought it is because Scott Bakula, I think that's how you pronounce the name, I'm not sure, was in this and of course he played Sam Beckett in Quantum Leap, he was also in one of the Star Treks, I think it's Enterprise, I'm not sure because I don't really watch it. Um, but that's why I bought that, because oh, so, that's the sort of thing I do. Uh, then I've got Russ Abbott's Madhouse, again you saw this the other day in the vlog. Um, I, that's just memories for me, that's amazing. Uh, I've got Jeff Love and his orchestra play the big Bond movie themes. That's all instrumental, but I used to play this all the time. I love it. Then I've got Carousel. This is the film soundtrack. I've got the Doctor Who 25th anniversary album, um, music from the BBC TV series, and I love that album. I love the, the, the Doctor Who logo, it's all shiny. And I actually really like the music and I've listened to that loads. Right, next one is a Judy Garner one and that's Gay Paree. Now that was a cartoon and she voiced the character of Musette, um, which was one of the, which is this little cat here. Then I've got a original Broadway cast album of Grease, which starred Barry Bostwick as Danny. Now Barry Bostwick pay, played um, Brad in the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Then I've got, this was my mum's, Hans Anderson with Tommy Steele. I've got um, this one that's called Great Boat Motion Picture Themes from Jean Harlow Movies. Still in it, Shrink Crap. And I've never listened to it. So it's got Saratoga, China Seas, uh, Dinner at Eight, Griffith. so songs from all of them, but I've never listened to it. So I must. I guess the shrink wrap's ripping, so I'm going to pull that off and uh, have a, clean it up and have a listen. And then we've got another Marilyn picture disc. This is the latest Blonde, but it's the actual, the original soundtrack to uh, the film Let's Make Love. So it does have tracks that she's not in. We have the... We have some uh, a soundtrack to Mary Poppins. But it's not the film soundtrack, it's a, a, a different recording. And then I've got uh, um, Nelson Eddy in Oklahoma, apparently. Then I've got a soundtrack recording of Oliver. I'll just move those out of the way. 
Now the next one has got two uh, film soundtracks on it and it's The Pirate with Judy Garland and Pagan Love Song. Then I've got Porgy and Bess. I've got the Rocky Horror Show but it's not the Rocky Horror Picture Show. I do want a copy of the Rocky Horror Picture. This was the one that came out in 1990 with Aid Edmondson as Brad. Tim McKinnery as Frankenfurter. Anybody else I recognise? Ed Tudor Pole was Riff Raff. That's interesting. Because Ed Tudor Pole, and there's the inside, a bit shiny, I know, with some cast photos. Ed Tudor Pole took over presenting The Crystal Maze from Richard O'Brien. The film soundtrack to The Sound of Music A Star is Born, Judy Garland's Star is Born. Next one is another Marilyn one, and that is the soundtrack to Some Like It Hot. But again, it does have things that, uh, you know, there's, that she sang and things that she didn't sing. So, for instance, Sugar Blues, Down Among the Sheltering Pans, and so on, Sweet George Brown. So it is actually a proper soundtrack album, which is why it's in there. I have missed one, and I've gone way past it, and that's the Batman album by Prince. Now, it does say it's the soundtrack album, but I don't actually know if it is. But there you go. I think that goes in there. Yeah, before Carousel. At the bottom and before Carousel, so I'll slip that in. Then I've got South Pacific. Oh, a musical I loved. Went to see it in London when it was on, and that's Starlet Express, or the original cast. I, I still listen to this. It's battered, it's old, but I love it. Uh, I think that was the first West End show I ever saw with Starlet Express, that was school. Uh, Julie Andrews, Thoroughly Modern Millie, which I bought the other day in town. Uh, three Bites of, of the Apple. This was one of my godfather's ones. This is one of the MFP Music for Pleasure label. And it's called Great Film Themes Number 4. Played by the Starlight Strings of the New Hollywood Orchestra. And then I've got the film soundtrack to West Side Story. And finally, a film soundtrack for one of the... Not so popular films of this particular artist, but I actually love it and it's a Madonna album and it's Who's That Girl? I love that film. <laughs> so that concludes my records collection as it stands at this point. Now obviously I will be going record shopping on the 21st, which is Saturday coming, because it is a record store day and B, the Newport CD and record fair, which is three times a year. So I will be going there, I will be looking for records. Am I looking for anything particular? Maybe. I mean, anything by Hugh Lewis and News, anything by Madonna, Pet Shop Boys, OMD, Banana Rama's Greatest Hits to Replace My Damaged Copy, um, anything from the 50s and 60s, anything like Doris Day or Barbara Streisand, anything like that. I mean, I, I just go and I just buy what I feel like on the day. So that is my vinyl collection as it stands at the moment. So on Saturday, we will be doing a vlog at the record fair or of our day around the record fair and then depending on how long that vlog is or how much footage I've got I will either do I will probably do show you all the records I got on the day at the end of that 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 uh, video but then what will happen then is I won't make another video regarding records until the next record fair which will be on August the 4th. So it gives me time to uh, buy a few more records and, and I can get up a good haul. It's not like I go out and buy records every day of the week. I've ordered one off of eBay um, the other day. It's a 12 inch EP. It's a Huey Lewis and the News one. Um, so you'll see that on Saturday. I think it should arrive before Saturday. As long as it arrives before Saturday, you will see it Saturday. But that's all for now. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you like any of these records, uh, let me know. If you, you, can, you can see what my tastes are. Give me some recommendations of what I should be listening to. Um, and I will certainly take that into consideration on Saturday at the Record Fair, and I will see you all soon. So bye now.